Hey, we're going to read off some Caroni Baloney stories. Here's what happened in Tony Baloney, Paris. A nine-year-old boy died in Marseille last Friday from a Kawasaki-like disease. And tests have shown he was infected with coronavirus, his doctors told French media on Friday. A medical team from La Timon University Hospital in Marseille in southern France said he was the first victim of the disease in France and the second in Europe after the death of a boy in the United Kingdom. The child presented symptoms that resembled Kawasaki disease, and his serology indicated he had been in contact with the coronavirus without developing symptoms in the previous weeks, said Professor Fabrice Michel, head of the hospital's pediatric resuscitation service. That's Paris. Yeah, where you can have Kawasaki and have it called Corona. And this so far is from TV.net. In Italy, active COVID whatever, infections whatever, continue downward trend as the government mulls us over, reopening in a region movement. Over half of the Germans, of course, you know, we know, support keeping the EU borders closed <laughs> or fully opening. They don't know what they want. Um, okay. In London, another 348 COVID-19 patients have died in Britain as of Thursday afternoon, bringing the total coronavirus-related death to 33,998. Now, I'm not quite sure how many people they have in the whole of the UK, but I think it's millions, like maybe 25 million. And 33,000 deaths are taking down all of UK. That's cuckoo. Uh, and 236,000 people have tested positive for the virus, supposedly, which doesn't mean a damn thing, except maybe you've had a cold, or you had a flu, or you had a flu shot. Who knows? It's ridiculous. Maybe you had stress. Maybe. Who knows? Okay, and now in Brazil. Let's go to Brazil from Europe. Second health minister quits, deepening the COVID-19 crisis. This was May 15th. Nelson Teek's uh, resignation came via message from the health ministry. The sacking. I don't know if he, they say he quit, but then they say he was sacked. We'll see. Comes in the aftermath of, of Bolsonaro sacking former health minister Luis Mandetta in April. So April, uh, Brazil's health minister Nelson Teach abruptly resigned, abruptly resigned Friday after less than a month on the job. Hmm, very strange. Uh, the sudden resignation is likely to deepen the turmoil, blah, blah, blah. Teak, who was a far-right president, uh, Herr Bolsonaro, had criticized as being too timid in the push to reopen the economy. Hmm, yeah, I agree. And advocate that, uh, and too timid to advocate the use of anti-malarial drugs to fight the virus. Which I can, you know, maybe the guy's thinking, who knows? Life is made of choices and today I chose to leave, said Teek. I did the best I could in this period. It is not simple to be at the head of such a ministry at such a difficult time. I want to thank my team that has always worked intensively for this country. Always. His team. Less than a month, his team always worked intensively hilarity okay you know but imagine imagine being given a job as a health minister to manage something like caroni baloney when you know it's a load of crap i mean what do you do you just like do whatever america says do whatever the queen says i mean what do you do what is whatever israel says who knows i mean what do you do when you know it's wrong and you're told you have to do it anyway, I would quit too, I guess. I mean, I wouldn't want to bother with all that. That's garbage. Okay. Well, let's see. That's that's uh, South America and uh, the UK and Europe. That's it.